So this past weekend, I just competed in my first ever weightlifting meet and I have never trained for weightlifting in my entire life. I've been signed up for this meet for about a month now and the person that got me into it was actually Charlie Zamora. He came down and he was coaching Bart with a, a few weightlifting type movements and it kind of intrigued me to get started and it's been one of my passions for the longest time that I wanted to do weightlifting, but I jumped into powerlifting first, so I never got a chance to train it. Charlie, owner of Caffeine and Kilos, he's a good friend of mine, he came into town, and while me, Charlie, and Nadim were eating at a Mexican restaurant late at night, they were talking about how they're super excited that they're gonna be competing at a meet together because Charlie's from Sacramento, and Nadim's from LA, and there's just very few chances for them to train together, let alone compete in the same meet. And um, Charlie was talking about how John North, the owner of this federation, is a wild man and he loves to have fun with his meets and it's all about having fun, hitting PRs, and not being so serious and worrying about all the things that you see traditionally at an Olympic weightlifting meet. Bart's like, you know what, can I, can I do this meet too? It sounds like a lot of fun. And then Charlie was like, yeah, I, I can get you in. And Bart was like, okay, let's do it. I was like, fuck it. I'm gonna compete at the same weightlifting meet as Nadim and Charlie as my good friends, and I'm gonna be there to support them and be one of their teammates too. So Bart actually signed up for the meet not having any experience besides one quick half an hour video that Charlie taught him how to snatch, which he completely forgot because he would always try to jump in with my weight and fuck it up so bad. The only experience I have is one, the video that I made with you, Charlie, and two, the random seminar that I went to just so I can go expand my mind, but I haven't put any of that stuff into practice. So every time that I even try messing around like cleaning, it, it feels really weird and I just immediately throw the bar down and I go back to powerlifting because it's so foreign to me. Ever since I started training seriously, I always wanted to be a well-rounded strength athlete. And in the beginning, to me, that meant squat, bench, and deadlift. But as I started to learn more about strength sports, I realized that a well-rounded strength athlete actually encompasses weightlifting. The more that I learned about becoming a strength athlete, the more well-rounded I wanted to become. And for me, I feel like I have to hit that 1500 goal before I can fully transition into pursuing another discipline. The reason that I actually wanted to start weightlifting is because I felt that I have accomplished everything that I ever wanted to in powerlifting. It doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop powerlifting and ever, like, not ever get back to it, but my goals as a powerlifter, I felt like I accomplished. I, I hit my uh, six plate squat, I hit close to a 400 bench, and also I hit over a 600 deadlift. So for me, I was pretty happy with those numbers and I just wanted to try something new. I want to become an overall athlete, you know. I want to be able to jump high, I want to be able to sprint, I want to be able to lift as much weight as I can and carry this for the rest of my life. So come meet day, I'm super amped. We actually get to the gym pretty early just to drop off some stuff and I see everyone lifting, but for me it was like since I've been powerlifting for four years. I was never nervous going to any competition, except for that first one. And I somewhat got that same feeling, but it immediately turned to excitement, you know? I wanted to step on the platform and just lift already, but I had like maybe three or four hours before I did that. So I was just watching everyone and my excitement just kept building and building. And it was funny because since Bart had no idea what he was doing, two hours before the meet actually started, Charlie was there teaching Bart how to snatch and do all these movements. And it was pretty funny to see because Bart's always been someone that's never been like afraid to try something new. And he's always been someone to experience new things. So to see him actually compete with me and Charlie was a really cool experience and it made it a lot funner because I got to compete with Bart. I wasn't nervous at all going into the meet just because I didn't know what to expect. So I was like, it, to me it's like, okay, I'm about to box Mike Tyson. I don't know anything about boxing. and probably just gonna fuck me up. So I assumed I was walking straight into a shit show and I was gonna get my ass handed to me. 
and I wasn't nervous at all because I'm like, I'm just gonna get tore up by a bear. So first attempt, 40 kilos, and then it's the first attempt, one, one, here we go. So the meat went amazingly well. I went six for six, which is the perfect meat, uh, which is equivalent to a nine for nine out of powerlifting meat. And I couldn't have asked for a better meat because anytime you do a meat, your goal is to try to get a perfect meat. And although I did choose some pussy ass numbers with the help of my coach, Charlie, I was very proud of myself that I was able to put my ego aside and not choose numbers that were gonna defeat me and start my first weightlifting meet in a deficit already. I've done enough powerlifting meets to know that it is the goal to try to have a perfect meet. And although I can have easily snatched way more and clean and jerked way more, I didn't wanna do that. I wanna lead by example and show that even though I wanna try new experiences, I don't wanna smash my teeth on the floor. I wanna try new experiences in a smart way and do it the way that everyone does it in this sport and also respect the sport as well. I didn't get six out of six, and I had no regrets. And if I didn't want to say like, oh, I have to go back, I wish I could have done better. It was all a new experience for me. It was super cool to actually be able to compete in something new other than powerlifting and dedicate my time to do that. So for me now, I know, okay, now this is time to really take a step back, drop the ego and learn the technique because in this sport, it doesn't matter how strong you are coming from any sport. I thought I had, okay, I had a 600 pound squat, a 400 bench and a 600 deadlift that I would be super strong already off the bat. But I would be seeing people that are like 100 pounds lighter than me lifting over 100 pounds more than I did. And every single person tells me that it's literally just about learning form and the technique and you'll be able to hit some big numbers. So I'm pretty happy that now I saw that after competing and I learned that you can really take a step back to progress. You know, so I'm uh, really take the time now to work on everything that I need to, gain more mobility, and fix all the issues that I had from powerlifting. I don't think you have to have years of training before you compete in a meet. I actually feel like competing in a meet is a very eye-opening experience, and a lot of people wait for the perfect time or when they're ready. And in all honesty, no matter how strong a lifter gets, I, I still hear people going, man, if only I could deadlift 900, I would do it. And these are people that have already accomplished deadlifting five, six, seven, 800. And no matter what you do, you're never gonna be satisfied with your performance. So you might as well start now and enjoy the experience and enjoy the journey along the way. You always hear from coaches where people always talk about it's about the journey, it's not about the end point. And that is so true. And for me, because of that, and because I do, and for me, because of that, I thought that me sharing this experience with my friends was more important than any other goal that I wanted to accomplish. Me being able to compete in the same weightlifting meet and be able to cheer my friends on, have my friends cheer me on, 
that was more important to me than me trying to accomplish a 600 deadlift on my own. So that's the reason why I decided to do it. And that's also the same reason why I feel like everyone should compete as well.